All right, folks, let's go inside this game. I want to hear some noise from the crowd. I know we got a lot of Quake fans out there. As Toxic is about to take on Socrates, the first map will be Galang. The second map will be Placebo. And if we have to go to a third, which would be an achievement within itself, well, we'll find out what that is later on. And there you can see all the Quake 3 fans have joined in. And that's right, I didn't say it wrong. All the Quake 3 fans, I, I see Forever out there, Tossbot, I see SZA, they're all here, and even Strider out there. Ready to rock and roll for this Quake 4 one-on-one -on -one final. Toxic versus Socrates, Sweden versus USA. As soon as these players ready up, we will begin. We are underway, oh, 10 underway. seconds in already, and the grand final for World Cyber Games 2006 has begun. Toxic already taking an early bit of damage as well, and Socrates, having grabbed the Mega Health, has the early advantage here on Galang. And we set a smart map pick, well, it's all on the spawns, it's all at the start of the game as well. As a rocket comes crashing through the rail area, there's a shotgun being picked up by Toxic as well. And uh, you know what? I think we're going to see a cagey start. We've seen it before from Toxic, I think that's exactly what he's going to play again here. Well, I mean, it would be the smart way to play, and both these players know exactly what one another is capable of and that's why we might see a KG start at the beginning following so crates now he's got plenty of health and armor but the, to the shaft of toxic comes out gets a little bit of damage there on so crates and now from the bottom level he fires that rail moving around now another exchange of rails over by the red armor that one will go to so crates and we've got 14 minutes on the clock and there's another rail I expect to see a lot of long distance rail play here on Galang I think that's both uh, both of what they're looking for here and we'll find out if that will be the case here as you know someone did mention that Socrates was going to play the sneaky game and I believe it was Sue Joy from ES Reality he said you know what Socrates sort of has that sneaky little game going on and players don't particularly like that because it's effective absolutely right but if anyone can cope with it Toxic's the man to cope with it. We've seen him play different styles all weekend long, or the last two days anyway, and certainly over the summer as well. He, he can pretty much combat anything that's thrown at him, so we'll see how he goes with that. So far, it's been a very cagey start as we predicted early on. We've almost played two minutes though, there you see Toxic. Uh, you know, so crazy they're going to fight each other actually just above the LG. There was a clash there. Rocket oh! oh, stunning rail from Toxic right down low, and we'll take the first frag of the game, and there it is. One to zero to Toxic. He'll try and find the conversion kill as well. We've played exactly two minutes, and the Swede has the lead. And we now watch the Swede right now up one to zero. You saw that he made that rocket jump up to the rail room to try to quickly take control. Shaft versus Shaft. So great. Down to two points of health. Toxic manages to finish him off, making it two to zero now. And you notice once Toxic got that frag, suddenly he went into robot mode. He made the rocket jump. He was looking for the conversion frag. He didn't get it that time, but he was able to at least follow up with another frag. 12 minutes and 33 seconds on the clock. In the horseshoe, they meet up, but only briefly as Toxic makes his way up to the railgun once again, trying to see if Socrates is up at that yellow armor. Fires a rocket, does not get a connect, so he must not be there. And we've got 12 minutes and 20 seconds left here on the clock. Toxic, he has the early lead, but not by much. No, he doesn't. We join Socrates now, down by the shotgun. Going to collect that one on the run as well, make his way through the TP and fire himself all the way around the other side. He hasn't really got a lot of control right now. And uh, that's, that's something that will worry him, but not too much. Toxic wants to try and make sure he keeps him at arm's length here. He doesn't want to get him sneaking up on him, so he's playing pretty cagey in this horseshoe room once more. By the railgun, fires off a rocket down low. That one didn't attach anything. That Mega is due any second now, and Socrates just making his way towards it. Drops down, though, grabs the Mega on the run, and that's a, that's a really good control point there from Socrates. And if he can control that Mega health, he's got every chance of playing a good game on Galang. Absolutely. I mean, while the power-ups are incredibly essential here on Galang, especially with all of the long range rail play that's going on. And we do see Socrates land one from the side. Toxic coming out of the upper teleporter. Shaft versus Shaft. Socrates picks up his first frag, making it two to one. And now the question is, will he get the conversion frag? Oh, and what a terrible spot for Socrates. He does get the frag, but we did see Toxic pick up that rail, deplete most of the health and armor that Socrates had. Had the rail not been there, Socrates would be doing much better. And now from the middle level with the shotgun. Oh. Nice rail by Socrates. He takes the lead over Toxic. Three to two here on Galang. Unbelievable run of events from Socrates. Great conversion kills as well. He made absolutely certain he could get a couple of frags in there, but you know what? He was very, very lucky and unlucky in the same way that the actually Toxic spawned right next to the rail. Lucky because he landed the shots. Another rail comes in this time from Toxic, but uh, secondly, unlucky that it spawned so close to him. So you know what? He did absolutely everything he could right then to actually 
get the frag and get away with enough health to then get another conversion kill, which is why he leads 3-2. Toxic has secured the last mega health, so he has now the control of that mega, and so great will try and wrestle that one away from him. Not looking at a particularly good shape right now, you have to say. Four and a half minutes gone then, and it's still very even, 3-2 in favor of the American. Absolutely, and Toxic picks himself up another armor, 3-2, one point lead, but as you mentioned, so great, he needs to do a little, be, a little bit of rebuilding on himself there, and we're about to hit the 10 minute mark here, as we've seen a very exciting first five minutes. It started off a little slow, but it started to pick back up. So great, still looking to put something there in his health and armor pool, and he will rotate back around and just wait for his opponent. He catches Toxic out of the corner of his eye, and now will make his way around. Nice rocket there. That one does connect with a little bit of splash damage, and we have passed the 10 minute mark now, as So great, so you can tell, is playing a very defensive game. Now that he knows he's in a position where a rail or two could put a little put that tying frag up on the board absolutely he uh, he's playing it clever he's playing it smart but toxic's also doing smart as well as so we switch over to him he's stacked now and he's just claimed the last mega health as well so complete control from the sweet right now all he really needs to do is find the american and he does find him in the hallway oh he'll put a grenade down on himself after he come up the uh, jump pad there and that jump pad not the right thing to do and toxic will come steaming in with the lg and that was pretty predictable right there small mistake there from so great and he was punished entirely by toxic and that will level the score back up with nine minutes and ten to go there is a risk to take there go for the red armor take the risk of possibly being trapped back on galang that's one of the reasons why i don't particularly like this map but it is good for the players it makes it a risk situation if you are hurt and you go for that red armor in that case that's exactly what happened eight minutes and 55 seconds now on the clock we've got a tie game three to three we're on map number one and the map is galang we're watching so crates now who after that last frag from toxic has started to oh. boost himself back up a little bit two nice rockets going in there an exchange of rails i believe that both of those hit and zocrates will make his way out of there and toxic will wonder where exactly socrates went to as he goes around the horseshoe and back up to the rail eight minutes and 31 seconds now on the clock it's still tied three to three and you know what we've seen some great wow. games hold on we got an up down battle here rails versus rail still three to three and socrates not looking to be in the greatest shape right here and well neither is toxic as he took a rail as well but Toxic has definitely had the juice runs going. He's had a little bit more armor and a little bit more health, which has ultimately benefited him in these battles. Yeah, he has, and he's made use of them, and he'll make use of that LG. Very strong work down in the Red Armor Corridor once more. And so great wasn't in the best of shape anyway, and he was trying to restack himself, and he wasn't able to do that before Toxic came in with that shaft. And he'll now switch that lead around. It's still a close game at 4-3. Another rocket lands from Toxic as well through that corridor. Oh, fantastic nice. pixel perfect rail from Toxic. Stream that one through back into the back hallway underneath the horseshoe. And he'll go for the conversion kill. He'll get oh. it as well. Oh, fantastic grenade from So wow. He put two in there. One landed initially, and then the second one smashed into Toxic's face. And he'll get the double kill as well. And what an amazing frag from Socrates, but you know what it cost him as well he's down by two it's five to three as we hit the halfway mark and it may have cost him but what it did is it equalized the playing field and that was actually the best scenario that Socrates could have last asked for he basically forced a respawn by both toxic and himself that put neither player in control of the power-ups on the map and a lot of time people say that's terrible but toxic got taken down with the shaft by Socrates making it a one-point game once again now if Socrates oh. hadn't have hurt himself with that grenade hadn't have killed himself then we would have a tie game right now and so the burden is on so great six minutes and 54 seconds left on the clock and he needs to get oh, oh from the middle level toxic equalizing and retaking control with a nice rail shot yeah try and finish off with the uh, conversion kill with the lg he's gonna try and hit that rail through the gap from low to middle and he didn't land it the first time tries again but he hits the wall this time and so great will get away with his life inside that one as uh, the red armor will be collected by the sweet what's so great's doing right now but he's trying to control the mega health. He did pick it up as well. So Toxic now is going to meet him in the middle hallway. And then they have a battle over that nail gun area. Toxic from long range will just whip out that LG and absolutely annihilate Socrates with it and grabs himself a three rank lead with only six minutes and 15 remaining. We might well see a change of. Uh, the kind of approach play that we've seen from Toxic might well be changing. Oh, they've got another battle here in the Red Armor Corridor as well. Red's been taken. Socrates on the defensive, but he's playing plus back mode rail stuff now, and that can be effective. Not that time, though, and Toxic will escape with his life with exactly six minutes remaining and a three-frag lead. You know, we saw some a lot of early oh. rail play. Hold on. Oh. Coming out of the teleporter on the lower level, Toxic does get another rocket kill, making it eight to four, and he's starting to run away with this one, but I wouldn't count the American down and out quite yet. We saw a lot of rail play early 
earlier on in this matchup, but one of the things that I absolutely love about Toxic is his shaft. And no, I don't mean it that way. I'm talking about his <laughs> lightning gun. And what I want to say is that typically when it comes down to rail versus rail, one of the more important things that Toxic is always able to identify and deal with is that shaft versus rail is much, much more effective for the lightning gun. You get more damage, you get in the face, it's harder to make those rail shots. And Toxic has now converted some of his long-range rail play over to lightning gun play in order to combat that versus Socrates. The score is 8-4. to four. We're about to hit the five-minute mark, Red Eye. And this game is in the hands of Toxic, but Socrates looking to bring it back to his camp. Yeah, it's Toxic's to lose right now. He has a four-frag advantage, and that's more than enough to take this one home. It's more than enough for him to control this, play defensive, keep Socrates away. But at the moment, Socrates will gonna want to go aggressive, and that's exactly how he's going to nice. get back into this game. Very aggressive move from Socrates. Might get the uh, second frag off the spawn as well. And Socrates hunting him down, trying to find that conversion. But at 8-5, 4 minutes 40, Socrates still has his own destiny in his own hands as well. If he can make the change and the differences at the end of this map, he can still pull this one back. It's a strong map for him. We know that before as another nice. rail comes crashing in. Oh, oh fantastic God. stuff from Toxic yet again. Two rails in a row. And you know, we're running out of superlatives for the Cyborg. 9-5 is the score right now. And every time Socrates comes back with one, Toxic comes up with something magical. Yeah, and there it was right there, like David Copperfield absolutely showing us pure magic, as you said, Red. Four minutes and 11 seconds now on the clock. Toxic looking like he's going to have some trouble there. Socrates did get that frag, but a double rail to equalize things. And I'm not talking about just any old double rail. I'm talking about a spectacular double rail coming from the top level over by the Mega Health. Three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. It is now 10 to 5. And as those seconds begin to tick away, Socrates will begin to think about what his plan will be on placebo. Unless he can mount a frag here in the next uh, 45 seconds or so, it's still going to be a little bit tougher. Talk Talking about Golang a little bit, you don't get the quick spawns as you do on other maps like Frantic and even Placebo Effect. And so it can be much, much more difficult to roll up those conversion frags on Golang. Yeah, absolutely right. We've seen it on other maps, but this one's a little bit different. But you know what? Early on in the game, we saw so greats do it. So it's more than possible. We saw him crack down three frags in a row in very quick succession, probably in around about seven or eight seconds. So you know it can happen. Little shaft battle breaks down over the nail gun. There's nothing going to happen down there. So greats backs himself out of it. And, uh, well, he doesn't want to back away from too many fights right now. He's five down. He needs to find some frag now. And that's, well, Toxic can run, run, run for all he likes for the last three minutes. He's five frags up in control. And so great has it all to do here on Galang. For two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock. Socrates now looking. He does spot Toxic. Sends out a rocket. Sees that he's down in the red armor. Going to try to get uh, uh, get him trapped down there. Toxic though firing right back. Pulls out the shaft. Uh, we see uh, Socrates going for the rail. And that's what he really needs to do. He needs to get those quick rails. He jumps over to the yellow armor. It's going to be shaft versus shaft. There's not much place that Socrates could go. And Toxic takes him down. 11 to 5. Two minutes and 30 seconds left on the clock. He'll be rewarded with the mega health now and uh, it, it is just a matter of Socrates getting a frag and trying to amount some sort of conversion kill but that turnover frag for Socrates oh. is going to be a tough one he does land a nice rail on Toxic that one more sweet. might do him in two minutes and 12 seconds left on the clock six frags separating these two but it's looking more and more like Toxic will walk away with game number one yeah it is looking very likely right now two minutes and four left as we just said and Socrates has an absolute mountain to climb right now six frags to find and if he can get a couple early in this last minute or so, then maybe he's got a chance. But he's got to start being aggressive and attack. But all the time that Toxic coming out with those kind of rails, nothing he can do right now. Shaft coming from Toxic. Socrates with the rail in hand, trying to land some big damage and still isn't able to land anything at all. Toxic now running away and hiding with 140 remaining. A six frag lead is looking pretty comfortable, I have to say right now. For yeah, the ab absolutely. You know, at the three-minute mark, I think we we're probably at a, at, a, at a better position, or at least for Socrates to bring something back. There's a nice exchange of rails. Both players hurting pretty badly. But 11 to 5, six minutes, I think Socrates pretty much knows it's going to be very, very difficult, ne pretty much next to impossible, in order to win this one. And in fact, once we hit that one-minute mark, getting six uh, on, ah. and there it is. Good game. We knew it was coming out there eventually. And with one minute left on the clock, we will go into the garbage time now and see what sort of frags these guys will put together for us. One minute on the clock. Let's talk a little bit about that game. You know, we did start off very slow. I think both players wanting to see where the other one was coming from. The rail game was very heavy in the opening five minutes. In fact, so heavy that we saw these guys exchanging rails like they were Pokemon trading cards. I mean, just going back and 
four. But with 45 seconds left on the clock, this one is over. But I have to say the turning point was pretty much right around that fifth or sixth frag for Toxic where he was able to string several of them together. We saw a few turnover frags by uh, Socrates. However, he wasn't able to convert as well as Toxic was. And we will move on to the second map. And that will be uh, that will be placebo effect. And that was uh, that was Socrates' map pick. And he said that uh, he wanted to mix it up a little bit. Yep. So with the final seconds ticking away, Socrates uh, will just uh, sit there and uh, wait for the next map to load. <laughs> but your thoughts on that one, right? Well, on? you know, I, I think Socrates has played that one a smart move. He's done really well in the, in the map. He's mixed up his strategies. He's, he's tried something a little bit different. And I think, you know, that that's all he could have done. We couldn't have really asked for anything else. There's the end of the game. 11 to 5 then. And Toxic is your winner from map one. And map two will be coming right next. Second map will be placebo effect. First map goes to Johan Quick, aka Toxic, aka the Toxinator. And uh, whoa, look at that. That's what a Toxic will get if he wins. No, just kidding. Uh, that's what I'm gonna get. No, just kidding. Uh, so uh, that's what the, I want. The, the cars uh, lining up there on the Monza track as we get ready for the second round here on placebo effect. And uh, it was so crazy. As you think it was a disco light. <laughs> uh, I thought you liked the disco. Yeah, I think he does. He's just he's pretending or something, you know? I know he likes disco shoes. All right, well, guess what? We're about ready to go inside this game. You're listening to DJ Wheat and Red Eye from ITG. And here we go. Three, two, one. And we are now officially into game number two here on Placebo. Red Eye, take it away. Yeah, Toxic versus Socrates. It's map two in the grand final of the 1v1 Quake 4 Invitational here at the World Cyber Games 2006, live from Monza in Italy. Toxic already one map up, only has to claim one more. It's 15 minutes away from World Cyber Games glory, but Socrates stands in his way. And right now, that was a great shot from Socrates as well. Toxic in a little bit of trouble, has to back himself away from that one and try and find him some health back inside this first, uh, this second map run. So 30 seconds in, wow. no score so far. Uh, so far, Socrates trying to land the rail through the gaps, and then we'll watch him drop down. Second one doesn't land either, and that's unusual to see two of them go down. And now shotgun breaking out from Socrates. He's hiding behind the wall, trying to use that wall for cover. Still going, and finally will nail those gun, that shotgun pellet right in the face of the uh, Swede, and will grab himself the lead. It's a mirror start to the first map, and this time Socrates has to win the map, though. Yeah, absolutely. 14 minutes and two seconds now on the clock. Toxic on the mid level with the rails. Go and picks up a hyper blaster that was left behind just a few moments ago. There you see one of the players who played here in the Quake 4 All-Stars Tournament, Sturmy from Italy, performed very well, ending up in the top four, but could not make it through after some very impressive games. But we're here on the main stage for the WCG 2006 Grand Final for Quake 4 one-on-one. -on -one. The interesting thing about this one before we get started here is that now these players will be paired up and they will have to play two versus two, which will be an equally exciting matchup uh, and an exciting set of games. Toxic over near the red armor goes for the assault there on uh, on Socrates. And a lot of missed rails that I'm seeing by these guys, but Lots. they're taking some real tough rail shots. Oh, wow. Toxic comes in with his first, the second frag for him. That'll make it two to one to the Swede. And you're right, we, I mean, I, I've done it. I've seen that many missed rails in a whole entire game between these two players. I mean, either of them have never missed that many rails in a row, but yeah. Each, they, they, maybe they are human after all. Maybe we miss the line. Toxic and so great. So great now battling it out in that low area. Uh -oh. Shaft to shaft. Now Toxic out with a shaft very late though. And he's got to try and come back later. Point nice. blank low. And only the machine gun array allowed for uh, so great. That was all he had left. The only weapon in his arsenal, but it was enough for him, and he did land it with just nine cells of the LG left as well. So that great stuff there from Socrates. He had to switch to the machine gun. He did get the frag, and we're tied up at 2-2 with just two there, and a half minutes there to go. Was, there was also another crucial thing that happened on that kill. 
when Toxic died, his corpse actually picked up the red armor. I mean, it, it, so it was negated for Socrates right there. However, a nice shaft kill by Socrates. He'll pick up another one, and uh, he's now on the lower levels firing that rail. Uh, you mentioned that this was a mirror match from the first one. We saw this score yep. on Galang, 3-2. No and this is the point where Toxic brought it back in his favor. Going to go grenade versus oh. LG, but the LG comes out dominant, and Socrates will continue to control that rail and steal it away from its spawn position to try to prevent Toxic from using that. And rightfully so, Toxic now assaulting over near the lightning gun. Oh, that rocket just going by the feet of Socrates. Oh. And it will be a machine gun kill by Toxic to tie the... No, not to tie this one up, but to make it a one-frag oh. lead once again. Socrates with a beautiful rail right there. Can oh. he follow up? No, he can't. Toxic ties this one up with a nice <laughs> shot. Well, only momentarily. <laughs> Five to four now. The frags going back and forth. And this is what we expected to see in the Quake 4 1v1 All-Star Final at the World Cyber Games 2006. I, I don't think, you know, nine kills into the game and like four of them have been machine guns. I don't think I've seen that many machine guns in the entire tournament before, let alone in one map. Socrates with some brilliant machine gun work and then Toxic coming back with his own. It's six to four right now. Toxic leading uh, down by two. Rather, I'm going to wow. have Pamela Rocket right into the face of Toxic as well. And Socrates now just starting to mix things up nicely. That They've both been very low on health. Very, very low and sensationally low. So much low that they can wow. then attack each other with machine guns. But Socrates again, just about surviving that onslaught from Toxic and grabbing the kill. That's four frags now. And I think each time Toxic comes in, he's being super aggressive because he thinks that guy must be low on health. How the heck is he staying alive? And that's why you see him going aggressive off the spawn each time. So far, though, it's worked really well for the American, and there's another example of it. Brilliant LG work as he drops down and claims the red armor as his prize as well. And that's a five-frag lead now, and wait. Game on. Yeah, absolutely. The other interesting thing to note, and I know it's a little early to be starting to talk about stuff like this. Hold on. We got a fight over here just above the teleporter. There's another rail by Socrates to make it 10 to 4. He's got a six frag lead over Toxinator. And you know what? You can't really count that out. Fox at one point during this tournament had a 10 frag lead over Toxic, and he brought it back to his favor. And that's exactly how it gets done. Toxic there powering through that frag with a very, very nice uh, ro set of rockets oh. and another set making it 10 to 6 and anything can happen especially here on placebo effect things get a little crazy and those frags can start racking up big time the LG comes out again it looks oh. like a rail shot does manage to connect for Socrates but that'll be it 9 minutes and 53 seconds on the clock Toxic going for another one as Socrates picks up that red armor but it won't matter 10 to 8 it's a 2 frag game Unbelievable. Uh, you know, it never ceases to amaze me how great this guy's rail is and gr how great his LG is. Some absolutely superb rail and superb LG from the Swede. He leads by, down by two frags right now, but yeah, it looks as if he's leading the, leading the, uh, the frag race whenever you see him moving around the map like that, but he's actually three down right now. And Socrates will finally get one back on the board after a reply, but that's how quickly things can change on Placebo Effect. It, it can swing. We've seen a fantastic game so far. I can't remember seeing a game on Placebo with 20 frags in it after five minutes. It's been so aggressive, Wheat, and yeah. maybe that's part of the Socrates strategy. Maybe that's what he meant by he was going to mix this stuff up. And it, it, uh, yeah, it's, it's worth possible. a try, and it's working for him so far. That's Three so frag lead. We're going to get another battle here. LG versus Rockets. Rockets coming back, but Toxic will win out with the LG once more, and there it is. He's reduced the gap to two, and we're down into the last nine minutes of this World Cyber Games 1v1 Grand Final. And is it the last nine minutes? So Chris nice. needs to hold on to this as another rocket flies into his face, and the gap is down to one. And it's amazing that it's down to one, considering it was six just a few moments ago. Eight minutes and 41 seconds on the clock. Anything can happen at this point. As So Chris picks up a little bit of armor there, and now making his way down to the mid-levels. And uh, eight minutes, 30 would say, I, I still got to say with So Crates in the lead. I think the third map will be a random pick. And there it is. The tying frag by Toxic. 11 to 11. The question is, is can Toxic continue this reign of terror here on the American opponent, So Crates? Yep. Let's see whether he can. He's got rockets primed and ready. Oh, takes a face full of grenades. Actually didn't lose an awful lot of health on that one. I thought it was a bigger grenade than it was. Just a little bit of splash damage in the end. Red armor will spawn and be picked up by Toxic. Those hyperblaster sounds come flying down into that corridor from the American. Did land a pixel perfect rail through the gap as well. Stunning stuff yet again from Toxic. He'll now try and lash out the LG to get that lead back. 
and it's 11-11 right now. Oh, Socrates hiding behind the wall. Toxic game taking by surprise there. Surprisingly, actually, because I thought he would have worked that one out. Yeah. I saw that one coming from a mile away. How did he not see that one? But 11-11 remains the score. We're seven and a half minutes away from the end of this map now. And Socrates still has this one all to play for. It's 11 ages. The rail comes in from Toxic and Socrates falls down to try and pick up the armor. He'll spawn just above the red as well. And he'll come in all aggressive with the machine gun. And Toxic is trying to oh. LG him with just nine points of health. Incredible stuff from Toxic. He deserved to go down there. Socrates knew he was weak. And now the Mega nice. will be great. Will it? No, it won't. Socrates, brilliant stuff with the machine gun as Toxic goes for the M for the Mega Health. And it's now 13-12. And with Socrates having picked up that Mega, Toxic's going to go all aggressive on him in the Red Armor Corridor and get that LG frag. And he's up by two now at 14 to 12. Very, very nicely done. Toxic now up by two. Seven minutes left on the clock. And he's going to go in. Only a little bit of help remaining now. And he manages to sneak his way out of there. Switching over to Socrates. Didn't look like he was in the best shape either. So that was a nice separation of these two players. But they're now starting to armor and help back up. And now there'll be a top bottom battle here as Toxic looking out over the side, trying to snag Socrates with that. He does get a nick with one rocket, but Socrates will manage to find some armor to re buff up on that. And now making his way across the map, six minutes and 30 se seconds on the clock. It's still a two frag game and what has been an amazing matchup already between Toxic and Socrates. These games are getting closer and closer and sooner or later, Toxic will be taken down. It's hard to believe that this guy hasn't even lost a map a a lately. And, uh, you know, even that would be accomplishment within itself. Socrates already has a very, very difficult road to, m to, to make anyway, having to defeat Toxic twice. And he has got to defeat Toxic in this map if he wants to continue on in this tournament. Otherwise, he'll just have to settle for second place. And as far as Socrates is concerned, that's probably not what he wants. Five minutes and 55 seconds left on the cross. We will have a battle on the top level. Socrates landing a few very nice rockets. Toxic getting his damage in as well with the LG. And with five minutes and 46 seconds remaining, the fight continues on. Yeah, two frags, the difference then. Can Socrates pull it back? Well, that's a good way of starting about it. That could get a clap from the crowd as well. Great rail from the American. He'll pull it back to just one frag between the two of them. Five minutes and 30 remaining. He's plenty of time in this game. And Toxic will know that as well. A little bit of damage inflicted though. And Socrates oh! knows it. Oh, fantastic, fantastic rocket from Socrates into the feet of the uh, Swede. 14-14. What a great way to tie a matchup on Placebo Effect. The Mega Health will be his as his birthday present as well. And now he's flicked over the feet. Another nice. flick rail to the right-hand side as Toxic was about to unleash the uh, fury of these rockets down and below him. And it's 15-14 and this seesaw game continues. It's Socrates that now leads as we head into the last five. No one ever wants to see a player lose, but I gotta say, even at this critical moment, the fact that we have seen Toxic play some very, very close games versus great players like Fox, versus Sturmy, and versus Socrates as well. There we go, a fight over the red armor. Socrates takes another lead. 16 to 14 is the score. And now Socrates waiting for that red. It does spawn, he's gonna grab it, grabs himself a rail as well. Four minutes and 37 seconds left in the clock. The thing is, is even though this has gone back and forth, we've seen the lead change several times we know that both of these players are completely capable of regaining control turning those frags over and then converting them for their favor and now toxic and socrates both playing it very quick they're going to meet over by the lightning gun and they will quickly separate up on that one as both these players are not looking fantastic in the health and armor department but now we've got four minutes ten seconds left not had a frag in about 40 seconds now and one is about due as these have been going back a total of 30 frags being scored here already on placebo and we have just hit the four minute mark we've still got a lot of regulation game time here red and yep. once again socrates must win this one to stay alive in this oh. tournament well, there's a couple of rockets and a rail thrown off by Socrates along the corridor. Tried to land them as well, and then some LG coming in from Toxic. And that's the first time he's been able to pick up the LG. I noticed that in the last minute. We haven't seen a frag because actually, oh, oh fantastic rail nice. from Toxic. Landed that rail right from the other side of the uh, high area. And that'll pull it back to a one frag, one frag lead for the American. But I tell you what I noticed we, in that one was the fact that, that we didn't get a kill because Toxic didn't have a weapon. He, right. had, he had nothing in there. He had no rail, no LG, and he had no rockets left in his armory either. So he just didn't want to go into battle. He does now, though. Wants desperately to go into battle. And he'll go right close up personal and equalize the game up at 16 apiece. He doesn't want a third map right now. He no, wants he this to finish now. Three minutes 12 remaining. They'll exchange another rail down on the low area. Toxic makes his way back up high. He'll collect the rockets here and drop down. What he knows? Socrates then switching over to him. 
tries to land the rail from high to low, then goes back towards the Mega, through the teleporter real go, they'll come face to face again, and still they can't land any rails, and we've gone back to almost status quo at the start of the first map, where neither man can land a rail, and that's just, it, it's so even right now, 16 all is the score, but it is very even inside the game as well. Absolutely, not only even, but I think that both of these guys are splitting power-ups, you've seen the Toxic has got control of the Mega, and you see that Socrates has control of the Red, so at this point, it really could go either way, but with two minutes and 37 seconds left on the clock, there is definitely going to be a clear winner in this matchup. I can't imagine that one of these players is not going to break free and start scoring some of those conversion frags. The question is, is who will it be? And they both anticipate <laughs> the spawning of the red armor. Toxic gets a majority of the damage done with the shaft, and he does grab the red armor as well, but most of that was depleted by Socrates. The exchange of rail goes back once again, and this rail game of cat and mouse has definitely begun to heat up here on placebo effect. Two minutes and five seconds now on the clock. It is 16 to 16. We're following Socrates. He'll now wait. It looks like they have switched position. Socrates did pick up that Mega a little while ago. And now Toxic looking for his opponent, knowing that it could come down to it. The Hyper Blaster comes out. We're actually having a fight oh. over the yellow armor. That's how important the power-ups here right now on this matchup actually are. A minute and 44 seconds left on the clock. A rail is hit there by Toxic. He's looking to follow up with one more. Hyper Blaster coming through the teleporter now and the mega is up at toxic well grabbing a minute 34 left on the clock we could go into overtime maybe i'll eat my words yeah maybe 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 it could be overtime in the grand finals of this second map then remember toxic already one map up he only needs one more and that would claim him his prize the biggest prize of all perhaps the world cyber games grand final it's 16 all we're a minute and 15 away from the end of this map and no, who's gonna who's gonna be brave who's who's got the bottle to try and make that aggressive attack is it toxic is it socrates they're both gonna fight over the red armor yet again toxic makes his way down there he'll grab the red armor as well and that's bad news for socrates he didn't need that right then and now toxic has the little advantage but actually got stripped away a lot of health on that particular point as well they exchange another set of rails 50 seconds remaining who will break the deadlock week who's it gonna be i have no idea right now i i gotta say it could go to either of these players but toxic looking pretty good 42 seconds left on the clock 16 to 16 i'm not sure what the mentality of these players are do they want to <laughs> take it to the to two minutes overtime i gotta say based on the health and armor stats of toxic he's not willing to go that far 28 seconds left on the clock we could see socrates go for a defensive turtle however we've seen in past games not only in quake 4 but in quake 3 that proved to be incredibly disadvantageous to him and end oh. up with the loss and we will have this could be the final fight toxic oh. gets it with 12 seconds remaining with the shaft 17 to 16 it's over toxinator stays in this one and that will be it three two one toxic wins in two maps. Unbelievable. Red Eye. Well, what can you say? World Cyber Games champion for Quake 4 is SK Toxic. The machine wins again. You know what? I have to just give mad props for so great stuff. Yep. Toxic, congratulations on your seventh Quake 4 title. So great, dude. This loss should not bring you down. Absolutely this not. loss should only say, I can do something in this competitive platform. Look at this guy. He's barefoot wearing pajamas on stage, you know? That's Throw how some cool pants he is. on this guy, maybe have him wear a pair of shoes. He might play some better Quake 4. But ultimately, both these guys are winner. Toxic wins his seven consecutive seven championship. championship. Unbelievable. And so crazy Never once been again done. proves himself that uh, he can be a contender uh, yeah, in this. Yeah, I'd like to add to that as well. You know, time and time again, I hear people saying, so great, what has he ever done? The guy's had an amazing year in Quake 4 this year. Absolutely amazing. Toxic, though, can't take it away from him. He's made history here with the seventh straight championship. He is the World Cyber Games champion. And the Cyborg wins once again. This has been DJ Weed and Red Eye from inside the game at the World Cyber Games 2006 Grand Finals in Italy.